started fighting, we started uh, arguing about literally everything, and I felt like all that was coming out of him towards me was negativity. People were um, making him kind of like assume stuff, and I got tired of it, you know? You get tired of hearing all this shit after a long time. But either way, after um, everything that was happening, um, basically, we stopped, we started not talking as much. We started just going our separate ways little by little. We started just um, separating more and more. So eventually we did not talk for like a full minute. And right when we got to Trent's, um, before this tour even started, we did talk a little bit, but it was nothing like, you know, and I think that's when I realized that we weren't talking anymore. Like I felt like we weren't talking anymore. And I then I texted him and I told him that like I think it's better off if we just do us. We just do you do you and I'll do me. That thing. Um and I, the whole situation. Okay, we move on, push comes to shove. I didn't even think that he was even hurt because when when we were fighting and that whole life happened of me crying, of me, you know, just all this shit happened, um, he seemed perfectly fine. He seemed perfectly fucking fine. And so I thought like, you know, he's going to be perfectly fine again. He doesn't need me, right? All we do is fight anyway, right? So I'm like, okay, he's gonna move on, I'm gonna move on. I'm not gonna sit here and be depressed because last time I was depressed, nobody fucking, he didn't, it didn't seem like he fucking cared. And that's the truth. It did not seem like he cared because when I was crying, sitting there, what was he doing? I didn't have anyone to go to. And so that's why I literally said, I'm all alone. I only have you guys because I only do have you guys. So like literally when all this shit was happening, I just didn't understand why I'm, okay. Yes, I understand what I did, the part of me. Okay, let me move on to the Brandon part. Let me move on to the part in the bus. We were sitting down. Yes, I saw, I saw, I, I saw, I saw Brand. I saw Alex sitting down, right? Okay, look at this how it was. Me, Brandon, Alex was over here with someone. I don't remember. And then somebody was right here. So I saw him, but I could have sworn that he got up and left. And even if he didn't, it was for two seconds. And we were not talking. We are not together. So am I supposed to sit around and act depressed? Is that what you guys are? Is that what you guys want me to do? Is just sit here and act depressed? Is that all I'm supposed to do? Am I supposed to just not move on with my life? Am I supposed to just hear all you guys talk shit? Oh, that's amazing. We're here for you. Dude. Literally, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do anymore. I what go on my with? musically. I go on my musically. I make one musically, and it's just hate comments all the time. You now. don't deserve that because you care a lot. And I can't oh, even gain yeah. anymore because of him. He's over here tweeting how heartbroken he is, but when I was heartbroken, where was he? Dude. He was not there. Alex, I'm only getting hate now. That's why I have to t go live and turn off the fucking comments, bro. Yeah. This is on my backup account. I can't even go live on my main account anymore because of how many times I've been reported. They report you? Yes. And I literally, am I supposed to sit here? Hey guys, relationships end sometimes. Like, that happens. So, like, we'll, we'll move on. Just don't hate on her. Like, she's a normal human being. And people have feelings, so just hating on someone isn't cool. And Haley's a really nice person, and sometimes relationships don't work out. And I don't know, you guys shouldn't hate, like, Alex and them, are, he's a, an awesome... Alex is an awesome person, yeah, he's too. he's awesome. Exactly. Like, he just, she like, still, she still loves Alex. Like, they're still friends, so just don't, like, don't hate on her because the thing is didn't happen, okay? Just, yeah. just be respectful. I love you. Thank you, Jesse. Anyways, but I know I shouldn't have hated on him but like literally I thought it was gonna be funny because we hit 15K and like I thought, okay, well, I didn't even know we were actually gonna do it and we ended up doing it and I didn't even think that Alex was even gonna really care anymore. I'm not gonna sit here and cry, this is stupid, but I'm literally just saying though, I have feelings too and the fact that everybody else gets to talk about how they feel is really fucking messed up because I'm a human being and I fucked up, yes, I kissed Brandon and I didn't fucking see that Alex was behind me, I didn't know that he would fucking care. I thought that he was gonna move on just as quickly because I'm over here, Brandon makes me happy because he makes sure that I'm not paying attention to my hate, he makes sure that I'm okay, he makes sure that I'm staying positive. He's helping me. But with Alex, all we did was constantly fucking fight. It was just toxic. That's all it was. And honestly, I don't need to be around that anymore. All my life, it's been negative, And I've actually been happy. 
this past week has been like the best time of my life. You know why? Because I've been happy and people around me have been positive. And I need positive people around me. And I know Alex was amazing. He was my best friend. He was everything to me. But the fact that it was just constantly fighting just showed that we were too much alike. We were too much alike and it was just all bad. So like literally I went my separate way. I knew it had to be done because we were just sitting there and didn't know how to move on or whatever. It was just all bad, right? Nation, not right now, okay? And so basically like 